In this scenario, we'll show you how to use Teleporter to import a one-to-many relationship from a relational database. This simple example contains two relevant tables, a flights table that may have zero, one, or many packages for a given flight. I begin by making sure that the connection between OrientDB Teleporter and the relational database is alive and well. If you'd like to see how to set up this kind of connection, check out one of our other tutorials. Once I know that the connection is OK, it's time to start configuring the integration. I begin by setting up the destination OrientDB database to hold what comes across in the import process. I select the connection protocol, which is plocal in this case, rather than in memory. Chances are that you'll use this as well, but you do have some flexibility here. I then move on to providing the OrientDB destination database name. It's now time for a decision. Which import strategy should be applied? Given that this is a straightforward one-to-many relationship between these two tables, I'll just go with the default naive strategy. We'll be covering the naive aggregate approach in other tutorials. For simplicity's sake, I'll use the default name resolver, although I could select the Java approach if I was so inclined. I'll also omit supplying an inheritance descriptor. If I had one configured, I could provide a path to the XML file where those rules were established. Finally, I'll select the info logging level. You can see that there are many other choices here too. Now it's time to identify the tables that I want to bring across. As I told you earlier, the one-to-many relationship for this example is between the flights and packages tables, so I'll select both of them to be imported. Once I click Next, OrientDB reads the relational database's catalog to establish how these two tables should be transformed to a graph structure. Eventually, it draws a visual representation of this new relationship. I've adjusted the output for readability, as well as enabled the legend for this diagram. As you can see, OrientDB uses what it's learned from the relational database to come up with a candidate graph model. You're free to click on anything on the graph model to view what's going to be created, as well as adjust it to meet your needs. Notably, this degree of control extends beyond the vertex classes, flights and packages in this case, to the edge class that represents the relationship between them. You can even add properties wherever you like, including to the new edge class. When I'm all done, I'll click the Start Migration button and Teleporter will take things from there. I chose the log level of info, so that's the amount of detail that I receive about the import. Which log level should you select? In the early days of working with Teleporter, you might want to have more verbose logging turned on as you're coming up to speed. Later, you're always free to reduce the amount of details that are displayed. Now I'm going to log into the OrientDB Studio and connect to the new database that I just had created for me. If I switch to the schema section, I can see the classes that resulted from the import. This is possible for all vertex and edge classes that were just created. I'm now going to interact with the data that I just brought across, beginning by getting a record of all the flights that were imported. I can then drill into a specific flight and send it to the graph. Finally, I can make the graph as organized and attractive as necessary to help understand the newly imported data.